Drew. I create hand-painted bespoke sneakers. delve in and it's been a, a long learning process through that and I think probably in the past year, two years I've really like honed in on, on technique and kind of finding my own style in the train art, not not just my own style within within art and design. I've worked in sales and marketing for many years, that's like my uh, sort of forte background. I sort of move around the country and uh, get to know quite a lot of people. My name's Emma Chandler. I currently work for a media agency um, in research analytics, um, but I come from a fashion design background um, with a degree in technical pattern cutting. I'm Gracie Edwards and I work as a senior analyst. Hi, my name is Chris Finnis and I'm actually a drum teacher.
so far has been a very productive day. Uh, I've learned quite a lot from this workshop and uh, it's uh, really good to see sort of people uh, or sh should I say friends in a colleague way um, which I've never really experienced uh, amongst this sort of group um, but I would say uh, it's great to see everyone's sort of creative minds uh, coming alive and you know really sort of all pushing the emphasis on getting Nancy to you know where she wants to be and somewhere we'd all like her to be. Yeah I think the workshop's been really really helpful. Um, I hope that she's been able to take a lot away from it and I hope that it's given her um, the confidence to um, push herself and to achieve what I know she can. I think it's very easy for us all to sit there and go, oh you need to do this, you need to get a following, you need to push yourself on social media, you need to hit the right demographic. Um, but it's what I think the biggest fear for Nancy is, is you know, putting her, her heart on her sleeve, her, her art on her sleeve even. Um, and I hope that this workshop has given her the confidence to, to try and not like hold herself back with the fear of failing. That's a really good idea. Um, I think it's definitely going to help Nancy. I think it helps all of her friends as well to get more of an idea of what Nancy wants and what she wants for her future. So I think all of us coming together and um, doing all the ideas, speaking, what other people think is definitely going to help with that doubt. I think it's a really good idea. I think she definitely needs to do something like this because obviously for a long time she's been doing custom things and sort of on other people's terms whereas this is now this is now her actually being able to express herself on a larger platform um, and I think she she deserves that and I think she kind of owes it to herself in a way you know traditional tattoo art, um, American traditional, so a lot of roses feature quite heavily in, in my work. I put my own twist on it, you can kind of, you've got a lot of variation with what you can do. It's got like an underlying cartoon aspect to it I guess, bold lines, black outlines, um, basic colour schemes, minimal colours in each design. I play in trainers because I love doing it. Um, I've been a collector of trainers since since I was really young, um, and been drawing since I can remember as well. So I've just basically put two passions together um, to create something really cool. And I like creating something that someone can take away with them, walk, literally walk out with them, and keep forever. Nancy's art, uh, well, it's incredible. Uh, I'm a huge fan. She's got fantastic, like, wall art, and everything with her is very uh, original, you know. Her, her influences, uh, everything from sort of skate to, um, what is it, the skating world to traditional tattooing. She, yeah, she's just sort of one of a kind, really, you know, one of a kind sort of artist who, um, you know, should really sort of be recognised and put out there, I guess. It's traditional, um, but she always puts her own twist on it. Her own style is really strong, um, and it always comes through, it always shows through um, in what she does and what she designs. Um, and I think it's quite rare these days to find someone that isn't just a copycat and has their own passion and style. It's very, very good. It's uh, very unique has her twist on it. It's very Nancy. <laughs> she's very passionate about what she does and she's like that outside of her career. I think that definitely shows when she's doing her work, all of her art, her trainers. Nancy's work, well it kind of speaks for itself really, but it's, um, it's very, I, in my opinion, it's very fun and bubbly. It's very much Nancy's personality. Is, is within it, you know. It's very likeable, basically. It's not like Nancy's, I don't find Nancy's artwork um, pretentious at all. I find it very like, down to earth and 
just very human and jovial, like, and yeah, I think it's a reflection of who she is as a person as well. So, trainer art is very much like having a tattoo. You you, you go to your tattoo artist or your your trainer artist, and you give them what you want. I interpret that in my own way, how it would work on a shoe. And like a tattoo, you're walking out of that shop or studio, wherever you are, you're walking out with a piece of art on you that's permanent. And on your shoes, it's permanent. Yes, you can throw your shoes away, but something like that you're gonna keep. And you can take it outside rather than buying a canvas, hanging it in your living room where the only people that will see it are people you invite in to your home. You're walking around in these shoes, anyone can see them. I'd like to be at a point where I guess people know me for what I do. They, they want to buy a piece from me because of the art and knowing who I am. I think my when I when I do my runs that reflects more of me and more of my style. I, I wouldn't necessarily put something on a shoe that I didn't really have an interest in or I didn't think I would wear myself. Sometimes you have to. A lot of commission pieces I do I do some crazy stuff that I would never wear myself. But I get a lot more inspiration and and creative control over my runs that I do because it's it's purely from me and just hoping that people see what I'm seeing.